Dear onlookers, dear observers, good evening to all of you. It's Ali Khan Wajid with a new informative lecture on the caption that has put the whole world in panic and that is child abuse. Let's get started our today's lecture. Dear listeners, the outlines of that certain topic is on left side on your screen. And the first outline on your slide is origin, origin of the caption of today's lecture, child abuse. And the second one is entomology. The number third is etiology and then history of the word abuse. Then definitions, types of child abuse, factors, recognition, effects, alerts are the warning signs of child abuse. And then treatment or management that how an abused child can be treated and then conclusions and after that are the suggestions regarding this particular essay. Now the next slide on your screen, dear spectators, dear audience, having the caption of history of the word and the word is abuse. The word abuse then began to work as a verb and after that it became a noun in the mid 15th century. Abuse also refers to anything that is employed improperly or to exercise such as the abuse of alcohol or drugs. Dear spectators, dear guys, dear fellows, here we have just listened the word to work as a verb. So here I would add something regarding the working of the word abuse as a verb and its example is over here. He was guilty of emotionally abusing a child. And in this sentence, the word abusing we have used over here is working as a verb. And the next we have learned over here on the slide that it became a noun in the mid 15th century. Then I would add something that the word abuse when it refers to working as a noun that it is meant to be such mistreatment and a person who abuses someone can be called an abuser. Dear fellows, here I would put an example of abuse word as noun. The owner of the mill subjected his employee to emotional abuse. Here the word abuse is used as a noun. Here is the next slide for your very kind attention, dear fellows. And the slide is regarding the official definition of a child. Under the law, a child usually refers to an individual who is minor, who is below legal age, the age of majority, the age of maturity is 18 years. Dear fellows, dear spectators, here I would add something and that thing is that I have already talked about an infant and adolescent ages and now after sharing my information regarding the word child I would dare share my information about a teenager as well. 
what is meant by a teenager as in the previous slides i have shared my information regarding the ages where an infant falls and what are the kinds of adolescents what are the strategies of adolescents so now i would better define the word teenager a teenager having the age between 13 to 19 years is supposed to be a teenager dear fellows dear audience here is the next slide for your very keen headings and its caption is definition of the word maltreatment maltreatment of a child by parent or guardian including neglect beating and sexual molestation is defined as a maltreatment here on the same slide in the subtitle i would better define the origin of the word maltreatment as well this particular word maltreatment was borrowed in 1772 from french word maltreatment and formed in english from mal plus treatment means rude unkind and rough treatment now here i would better summarize the slide dear audience dear spectators maltreatment may be done at the part of one's parents or anyone whom the child is handed over for his or her fostering it is meant to be that only the aliens or strangers might not be responsible for harsh treatment in this regards the parents of a child might also be responsible for such a cruel act of disgusting dear spectators the caption on this slide maltreatment has been looked into what basically the word is meant to be and what is its origin it includes all types of physical and or emotional ill treatment sexual abuse neglect and commercial or other exploitation which results in actual potential harm to the child's health survival or dignity in the context of relationship of responsibility trust or power dear audience in your third line there is a word exploitation which is a noun and its verb is exploit here i would better try to define it what is meant by exploitation it means the action or fact of treating someone unfairly in order to benefit from their work dear onlookers now come to the types of today's lecture on child abuse and the first type of child abuse is abusive behavior and the second one is emotional behavior at number 3 is child neglect and the number 4 is occupied by the type named physical abuse below the physical abuse there is the outlines sexual abuse and then there comes 
alert signs of physical abuse and after the physical abuse alert signs of child neglect is over there and the possible last sign alerts of sexual abuse dear spectators dear audience in this slide the previous mentioned types are now going to be elaborated and what basically the terms are referred to and the caption is on your slide recognizing the different types and now the first one is abusive behavior This type of behavior comes in many forms but emotional effect on the child is a major concern under the abusive behavior in this type of behavior a child may be slapped faces harsh comments and stony silence dear audience here i would better summarize this slide in this type of behavior emotions do matter a lot and in this certain type a child may be met with having a slap painful and sarcastic comments and the next one is the stony silence which is meant to be to face unfriendly and unkind silent reaction from the others here i use the word sarcastic comments and sarcastic is meant to be using insulting words now i do attempt to differentiate between comment and remark A remark is meant to be passing expression of opinion whereas comment is supposed to be a judgment on a particular point dear spectators dear onlookers now the next slide is on your screen having the caption emotional abuse Contrary to some people's belief words can hurt and emotional abuse can severely damage a child's mental health or social development Dear audience here i do elaborate some of the terms or the words mentioned in the slide and the first word i find that will be elaborated is contrary contrary is meant to be opposite and the next word in the same line is beliefs what is meant by a belief belief means something that is accepted considered to be true even without any proof and the examples are over there what the muslim believe the muslims believe that there is one allah almighty governing the whole system of the universe and there is muhammad peace be upon him the last messenger of allah almighty Now we talk about what is belief in Christianity. Christian believe in one Allah who created heaven, earth and the universe. They believe Jesus is the savior of the world. Dear listener, dear onlookers, what is belief of life 
the belief of life is to believe that one's life has purpose. And the next question arises, why belief is important? The belief offers a sense of comfort, purpose and connection to others. While elaborating, the belief of the Muslims, I narrated that Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the last messenger of Allah Almighty. The word messenger is better understood as a prophet. And a prophet is an individual who is regarded as being in contact with a divine being and is said to speak on behalf of that being and that being is meant to be divine being and that is called Allah Almighty. Now here are some of the examples of emotional abuse, dear listener. Limiting physical contact with the child, i.e. no hugs, kisses, of other signs of affection, exposing a child to violence against others, whether it is against the other parent or sibling or even a pet. Dear spectators, here I would like to explain some of the words on this particular slide. First of all, on your right side, there is an abbreviation I full stop E full stop. Its origin is it is a Latin abbreviation and it stands for ID small letters then space and then E S T ID. It means in other words. And the next word on your slide, right from the left side in the second line, hug is meant to be an act of holding someone in one's arm affectionately and warmly. Dear spectators, dear onlookers, now I would better summarize this certain slide. In this slide, the prevention measures have been recommended. As there must not be any interaction with any stranger who tries to embrace the child. And the children must not be let free to go anywhere. And the parents must have a close eye on the child so that he may be avoided from any kind of violence. Dear spectators, dear listener, as you have already known about that, what I have summarized this particular slide. Dear onlookers, now you have the next slide on your screen with the topic Alert Signs of Child's Emotional Abuse. Keep depressed and dismay even in the company of one's own. The second is keep at home maximally and the third sign of a child emotional abuse is avoid to do one's assigned responsibilities and the next sign of a emotional abuse child is stay possessive and reserved 
And the next one, often don't bother to honor the other's feelings. Dear spectator, now I would dare share the somewhat detailed information of the words mentioned in this particular slide. And the first word is depressed. It is an adjective means unhappy and without hope. Now I would better tell about the origin of this particular word depress. The word depress comes from the old French word depressor which means put down by force. Now I would dare share something about the word dismay right in the first line. The first part of the word dismay comes from the Latin prefix dis which gives a negative spin on words. And what is the meaning of the word dismay? The definition of the word dismay is distressed and concern caused by something unexpected. Now I would elaborate some of the words in this particular slide for the better understanding. And the first word is disregarded. It means to pay no headings. And the next one is pattern of failing. It is meant to be how a failure is produced by a fault. It is also meant to be the inability to meet an expectation. Now dear listener, dear onlookers, I would better summarize this slide When parent or parents, in these two words that I have used, in one I have add s parents, whereas the other word is parent without s. The difference is that, as you may better know, that when the word parent without s is speaking, that it is meant to be a one, it might be the mother or it might be the father. But when the word parents is used, it is meant to be the both ones, mother and the father. Again, I repeat, when parent or parents stay unable to extend proper headings to the basic necessities of life to their children, due to any reason at their own part. It may happen due to improper attention to the child or due to the illness of the parents, especially physically or mental. Now the next slide is on your screen, dear spectators, with the caption, Alert Signs of Child Neglect. The following psychological and physical indications might be seen when a child is neglected or ignored by the parents. And the first indication is poor record of school attendance. And the second one is substandard completion of school assignment holding or stealing food and the next one is poor personal cleanliness, poor growth, poor supplies to meet physical needs, etc. The summary of this slide is that when a child is neglected or ignored, 
he or she becomes sick psychologically and physically showing no interest in going to school moreover a neglected child does not complete the assignment by pouring proper headings hence the task remains substandard a neglected child tends to stealing and hold and the next type of a neglected child is on your screen and that is physical abuse it is over here on your screen the definition of physical abuse it is an act when someone uses his body in order to inflict intentional harm or injury upon another person now the next slide having the caption of alert signs of child's physical abuse bruises or other noticeable marks after absence from school number 2 bruises in the shape of an object a hand shoe iron stick belt etc and the third one is abnormal injuries such as on the face leg bottom or torso now here we have a word torso in the last third lines what is meant by a torso torso is also called trunk and then what it is meant to be it is the main part of the body that contains the chest abdomen pelvis and back and here there is a word pelvis so here i would like to explain this word as well pelvis is meant to be the area of the body below the abdomen that is located between the hip bones and contains the bladder and rectum dear spectators dear onlookers now the next slide having the caption of psychological abuse it is meant to be it is a type of abuse in which verbal abuse humiliation and acts that scare or terrorize a child which may result in future psychological illness of the child now i do summarize the certain slide that when a child becomes the victim of verbal abuse or insulted then he or she becomes fearful that might result in psychological illness for the child dear spectators dear onlookers now the next slide is on your screen having the caption of alert signs of psychological child abuse following are the changes that might happen to occur in a psychological child abuse the first one is prompt change in behavior the second one is act of anger and aggression the third one is occurring of hostility and hyperactivity at number 4 there is depression the next one anxiety and anguish feelings sudden loss of self confidence sleeplessness and changes of appetite and weight loss all these might happen to occur in a child who is psychological abused child 
Dear onlookers, dear spectators, the next slide on your screen having the caption of sexual abuse. It is defined as the involvement of dependent, developmentally immature children and adolescents in sexual activities which they do not fully comprehend, to which they are unable to give consent or that violate the social taboos of family rules. Some sexual cases do not need to involve oral, anal or vaginal penetration and may include exposure to sexually explicit materials, oral genital contact, genital to genital contact and genital fondling. Here, dear spectators, dear fellow, there is a word taboo. It is meant to be something that is not acceptable to say, mention or do. The example of this word lies here. In many Jewish and Muslim communities, people are forbidden from eating pork. The second example of taboos is, in most of the cultures which value youth, asking a woman's age is often discouraged. Here I would better differentiate between the words anal and anus. Anal is meant to be the act of male and female sex, whereas the meaning of anus is the opening at the end of the elementary canal through which Solid waste matter leaves the body. Some of the more words in this slide I would dare define. And first of all, the word genital is over there to be defined. It is meant to be connected with the outer sexual organs, especially the penis. And what is meant to be the genital area? It is external and internal sex organs and glands. And then the last one, what is vulva? It is the external parts of the female genital organ. Now here we start what to do with an abused child. Treatment or management of an abused child. Encourage the child to tell you what happened with him or her. One needs to stay calm and assure the child that it is fine to talk about the experience or any wrong mishandling happened with him or her. Even someone has threatened him or her to keep silent. Here is the slide with the caption Child's Risk of Abuse at Individual Level. It is meant to be the following are the reason. Number one, child's disability. If a child is physically or mentally disabled, then some sort of abuse might happen with him or her. The second one is unmarried mother. The third one is maternal smoking. And the fourth one is parents' depression. Dear audience, the next slide on your screen is over there with the caption Effects of Abuse and Neglect on a Child. Trouble regulating emotions, abused children cannot express emotions safely. Consequently, the emotions get stuffed down, coming out in unexpected days. 
And dear fellow, dear spectators, now the slide is in front of you having the caption of consider maximum and additional support. Counseling and motivation are the best tools. The abused child may be given medical treatment if it requires. Being parents, be the friends of your children so that they might not conceal anything right or wrong with you. Give them the courage of speaking the truth all the time as it will benefit you a lot. Summary of the certain slide is that interaction, counseling and motivation may be entertained with the child. Number two, being parents, don't be so rude and strict. And number three, be moderate in your behavior and actions. And the last one, give your child margin to talk to you if anything wrong happens. Dear spectators, in the previous slide, we have seen the word ramification and now here in this slide, the definition of that certain words is over there. Ramification, it is concerned with the indirect consequences of an action. The focus is on any action. It might also be posed as how to represent what happens implicitly due to an action or how to control the secondary and tertiary effects of an action and tertiary effects of an action. Dear spectators, in the previous slide, we have seen a word tertiary effects. And now here on your slide, its definition is over there. Tertiary effects are meant to be more severe future health consequences of climate change. And now the next is the examples of secondary effects of tertiary. It becomes the cause of changes of infectious diseases and atopy and asthma. Dear onlookers, in the previous slide, there we have a word atopy. Atopy refers to the genetic tendency to develop allergic diseases. It is typically associated with the heightened immune responses to common allergens, especially inhaled allergens and food allergens. And now right in the third line, there is the word immune. I would better Dare share my information regarding the immune responses. So here it is meant by the way the body defends itself against substances it sees as harmful or there are four possible tertiary effects. The first one is loss of habitat caused by a flood. The next one is on your slide is permanent changes in the position of river channel caused by flood. And the next third one is crops failure caused by a volcanic eruption. And now I deem it essential to share my information regarding what is meant by volcanic eruption. And the next there is the caption as well. What is volcanic eruption? It is meant to be 
when lava and gas are released from a volcano and then sometimes explode dear spectators dear audience there are two terms on your screen and they are volcano and magma first of all i would elaborate the word volcano what it is meant to be a volcano is an opening in a planet or moon's crust through which molten rock hot gases and other material erupt and the second one is over there on your slide is magma what is meant by magma it is the molten or semi molten natural material from which all igneous rocks are formed the magma is found beneath the surface of dear spectators dear audience dear onlookers now we are just going to sum up our lecture on that certain topic of child abuse and now it's the slide on your screen is conclusion or is a proven fact even one's life that the people who are mistreated and ignored unable to put their energies and capabilities towards a proper direction hence in this essay in this writing in this we have come to know that child abuse and neglect enjoy their long lasting impact not only on the abused child but also on his or her family now i do summarize the certain slide of conclusion it is meant to be that injuries that might be physical or emotional leave their iron hands and painful memories in the child's life but it also have its severe impact on his or her family as well and the same painful situation remains for a very very long dear on lookers dear spectators now we have come to an end regarding the completion of this certain topic child abuse and the caption on your slide is suggestions in order to save god children from this exam situation it is imperative to develop preventive measures or the programs and to develop and enforce legal ramification this certain caption also falls in the category of management or treatment of an abused child and the caption over your slide screen is help the child remain safe and sound ensure the child's safety by separating the abuser and the child and by providing supervision if he abused child is in the presence of the abuser now i do summarize the certain slide that it is very important that the abuser might not be there at the place where the abused child is 
enjoying oneself dear spectators dear guys the slide on your screen relates to the emotional abuse so the parents should avoid doing the following number 1 calling names and making negative comparisons to others at number 2 failing a child they are worthless rogues idiots bad or a mistake at number 3 ignoring or rejecting a child as a punishment giving them the silent treatment now i do summarize the slide so the slide showing on the screen tells us that the parents should not make negative comparison of their child the my my focus on the words is negative comparison the question then arises what may happen then if the parents make negative comparison for their child calling a child a bad guy may actually turn him or her in a state of anxiety and anguish which may actually make them the same and then the result may be seen in so many failures in the life of their child dear on lookers dear spectator it's over for today's lecture hoping to have your very kind feedback at the earliest